and nearly all of the men's basketball teams have arrived in Indianapolis to start the quarantine process ahead of the tournament. Virginia and part of the University of Kansas team will be arriving later due to their local COVID-19 protocols, testing results and logistics. WRTV's Alyssa Donovan learned from the NCA the safety measures teams have to take now that they're in Indy. There are four hotels here downtown that are hosting the teams for the NCAA tournament. Each team will get their own floor inside of the hotel and they'll undergo extensive COVID-19 testing. Teams are taking a PCR test upon arrival and then quarantining in their rooms until they take a second test at least 12 hours later. After the second test, team members will be cleared and can head to practice areas and start prepping for their games. There's also exhibit hall space and meeting hall space that teams can use, as well as Victory Field, which will be a venue where the student athletes can get outside in a controlled environment. It is expected that coaches and student athletes and everyone involved in the official travel party does stay inside a controlled environment at all times, unless being escorted to one of those outside areas. While here, teams will also be given one of these, a safe tag. So the safe tag is um, about the size of a domino, a really small, lightweight, a wearable device that is able to detect the distance between users. The devices, which can be sewn onto uniforms, will help with contact tracing should it be needed. Anytime that there is a positive case, what the safe tag does is it logs that information into a very secure software system that then allows medical officials, um, local health departments, designated team officials to go back into that system and see who's been in contact with who and for how long. Team operation managers will collect devices each night, charge them, and sync them so that the data can be accessed by the Marion County Health Department should contact tracing be necessary. Of course, this is being done for everybody's health and safety. IU Health is providing testing for the athletes while they're here in Indianapolis. The NCAA says as of today, there have been 2,100 collections and no positive tests. I'm Melissa Donovan, WRTV. And team travel was also very restricted and physically distanced. We are told each team that traveled by bus required three buses to maintain social distancing and keep players safe. 150 buses will be used in rotation throughout the week to ensure safety guidelines are being met for players.